Hello, I am Kasam Sheikh and welcome to my channel. So today in this video, uh, we'll look into creating WordPress uh, in Linux and uh, using Microsoft Azure Web App and uh, with the help of Azure Portal. So you can consider this video as a continuation of my earlier video where wherein we created WordPress on Windows. Um, using the azure portal and now we are trying to create the wordpress website on linux uh, with the help of portal so it has some uh, like uh, do they are similar but they have some uh, difference uh, in the installation process so we'll look into it uh, while creating the same so as a part of prerequisite uh, you need to have um, Azure subscription with you and uh, a basic knowledge of WordPress so let's start uh, click on new uh, this is, uh, Microsoft Azure portal that is portal.azure.com click on new and just type in WordPress and you can see uh, there would be a result or one of the result would be WordPress on Linux click on it so this is the easiest way to go in uh, click on create let's enter name VP on Linux by custom this name should be unique as uh, it's an app name uh, the subscription would be free trial uh, it has to be in a resource group so let's create a new resource group uh, app service plan as a part of web app so it has some different uh, pricing tier with respect to the Linux so the very first uh, difference like uh, is with the pricing tier for Windows and now for the Linux so let's uh, go with the default one uh, with location as West Europe that's fine so the main difference like uh, when we create it on Windows uh, there was there were two options like for one with Azure SQL and uh, the other one was MySQL in app but over here when you try to create a WordPress on Linux you don't have those two options but you have to create an Azure uh, MySQL and for that let's click on other uh, settings let's configure uh, and give it in some complex password I'm not giving much complex password because this is only for demo again it has its own pricing pricing tier uh, with all the compute units and storage so we'll not be looking into this as of now because we are our main task is to create this WordPress and to have it uh, get installed and let, let's go with the default database name let's click on OK pin this to dashboard let's uh, keep this application inside off by default it's off let's keep it as it is so you can see the database name coming over here click on create it may take few minutes to get deployed great so it took few minutes but now it's deployed you can see its deployment succeeded let's click on this URL or uh, the name which we gave earlier may take fewer few seconds to get load but you will not get a default template very much similar to the one which uh, we created WordPress with win on Windows meanwhile let's go to go here let's go to the resource group and let's see so it has created the app service plan which we selected or the web app that is the name which we gave it's an app service and along with we created a database that is azure database for mysql server and we selected all default location app service plan and database and it has created everything in the same location It's still taking time 
meantime we can see uh, the server settings till the time it gets load Okay, so it's MySQL version 5.7 with a standard pricing tier. Okay, it has a server name, login name. Cool. Uh, let's go to web app and check the application settings. So it has the application settings over here you can see the uh, the database uh, credentials or parameters or uh, we may we may uh, require like this application settings like this database host name password and username would be required while uh, uh, installing uh, while uh, having the wordpress installed on our server on our linux server it will ask for this database uh, credential to so as to get connected with uh, the database it is a part of wordpress installation again if you go to deployment option you can see okay so it is there is uh, nothing it's a default template but when we have uh, created a windows application uh, sorry windows uh, wordpress on windows uh, that at that time uh, there was an a deployment option already being configured with some source so here it is not the case that's cool or it's getting deployed okay so the site got loaded and you can see uh, without that default template it comes with uh, the same as wordpress admin let's select english and click on continue so here's the difference like see if you can uh, like read the screen and it says like it it may require this all um, uh, details so as to get connected with the database let's go so from where you will get this uh, details as I showed you earlier, it's into our application settings. Uh, so let's I will pause the video and I will just copy it. So, as you can see, I have just entered all the details required details. So, this is being required for the database connection. The WordPress, uh, these are nothing but this database name, username, password, and host. I've just copied this values over here. Let's click on submit and it will try to connect yes so it has says it is successfully connected wordpress can now communicate with your database cool so let's run the installation and again with the same page with the same details again so i have entered this uh, default details and let's click for install wordpress so if it is successfully deployed it will ask for the login and password which we have provided over here and yes it got success let's click on login uh, let's get the same try to have a strong password it is just for demo that's why i'm just entering a simple password and here we are on uh, our wordpress with linux and the wordpress dashboard let's go to go here and click on url our web app url and it should load cool so this is the wordpress site on linux let's go to dashboard and again do the same thing let's go to appearance sorry appearance themes and go let's go with this one click on activate few seconds is done click on visit site and cool so our wordpress <coughs> wordpress linux is on azure website azure web app and we are successfully uh, done cool isn't it so hope you have enjoyed and learned uh, something new you saw the please watch uh, my video for wordpress uh, that is uh, it is on windows uh, there is no much difference but yes there are there are some difference with respect to the database connectivity uh, rest all the steps remains the same so hope you enjoyed this video learned something new
and uh, would request you to like this video share this video among your friends kindly subscribe to my channel for more such video with respect to azure thank you for watching bye bye